All right, what's up, my fellow YouTubers? Grant, otherwise known as Mr. Octopi here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Arcade Day. Now, in the past episode, we just did Bloom's Tower Defense number one, and this time we're going to be Bloom's Tower Defense number two. So as you can see here, Bloom's Tower Defense two, all the good stuff. Um, basically the same idea, you know, except this time they have easy, medium, hard. I don't remember them having that in Bloom's Tower Defense one. It was just play, I think. I'm guessing that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So it just changes the tracks and you get less lives. Along with that, they added, let me see here, they added the road spikes, the monkey glue, the boomerang, and that's really it. So they also lowered the price of the bombs. They just made it a little bit better. And yeah, so let's just do easy. Start up easy here. Stop the balloons escaping by building stuff in and around the maze. I have a funny story to tell you. One of my friends, I was in tech, I was playing balloons, Star defense five, and... He was telling me a story, and basically, his uncle, he was told by my friend, let's call him Bob, and Bob said to his uncle, he said, hey, uncle, uh, you should definitely check out Bloom's Tower Defense. It's, it's a really cool game. And you know, Bob thought he did a good thing, got his uncle to play Bloom's Tower Defense, came back the next day or whatever, he was talking to his uncle, and he's like, yeah, dude, I, I don't know why you wanted me to play Bloom's Tower Defense. I mean, it's, it's kind of a stupid game. I just, you just kind of watch balloons go by. It's kind of weird. And then Bob said, wait, did you put down towers? Yay. So funny. All right. Um, yeah, that was a really stupid joke. Okay. So let's just go start off here. Something I always like to do right here. Really good place to put down the monkey along with right here. You just want to be able to maximize. Okay. Can't buy that. Can I buy that? No. You just want to be able to maximize the, the surface area. I don't know. I don't know when fast forwarding is going to come in next. I really hope it comes in soon. Because, yeah, but as you can see, the bombs are a lot less. It used to be 900. This used to be, like, 700. This is about the same. That's about the same. The Super Monkey went up a little bit, I think. But now we have road spikes, so we can put down pop 10 balloons if we ever get really screwed. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Same thing as really the last one. I mean, there really wasn't too many changes in this one. I mean, it's good change and everything. I enjoyed it. But just mainly, oh, forgot to put my freaking phone on silent. It's mainly changed around a few, like, strategies or something. It's, it's mainly the same. It's still a cool game. And it's sad these things. Just made it a little bit easier. Boomerang, it's actually pretty decent. And I'm going to sort of try the same idea of what I had last time. See how far I can get. I know this one is a lot easier to get to the higher levels. I know that for a fact. <laughs> okay, and I don't remember it telling you... Yeah, I think it did. Alright, so let's go get to grind in here. And we're going to try to get one of these tax shooters. And then, yeah, yeah, these boomerang guys are definitely a really good strategy to stick here in the middle, and then with the super monkey, straight in the middle. That's always what I like to do. And then right here is a pretty good spot for this guy, too. But the only problem is that it doesn't really travel there too much. Alright, so let's stick this guy here. Alright, come on, monkey, get him! Ah, oh, crap. And spikes! Look at that, so much easier. Now I don't have to lose a bunch of lives. So as you can see, this guy shoots really, really slow if you didn't see the other one. And yeah, okay. So it looks like this, I'm definitely going to want to upgrade the faster shooting. And then I'm going to want to stick a boomerang guy right there. Because that's where I want my super monkey. So I'm going to save up for a boomerang, put him right there. And then try to upgrade the supersonic. And at the same time, putting down a bomb guy. Probably up here, so. Or no, no right here seems good. Yeah, yeah. To wait all the way there we go nice nice all right cool so the thing with the boomerang is as you will see whenever i actually put it down is it throws it it automatically pops two blooms at once and then you can also pop up like four or something i think what it does it throws and it goes around the curve until you know just like this if it hits four balloons or two balloons then it's done so it's really nice definitely like if you have the money for it 
It's definitely something really nice that you should be able to save up for. Alright, so let's go stick one of these guys right here. Bam! So as you can see, right there. See? He's pretty good. Aw. Get you. Oh, right, wait, can I wait? Yeah, I probably could have waited. So, definitely want to get multi-target. And I want to save for Sonic Boom for whenever I do the... What's it called? Crap. Freezing, freezing. That's it. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Aw! Oh! Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, can I have this? Ooh, that's not good. And then I... I forget if they add a new version of the Moab or not. No, I can't afford it. Crap. Okay. So, boomerang balloon. That's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty. So, should I be saving up for one of these guys? I think I may just save up for a bomb here. The, the beginning ones are definitely the hardest ones, I'll tell you. Like, not only the beginning levels, but the beginning of Shoal Bloom games. They're a lot harder harder than the ones they have now. Just because there's so little options. It's, it's just, it's weird to explain, but that's what I've always found. And these spikes are definitely very, very useful for whenever you can use them. I mean, check it out. Like, I just saved a bunch of lives. Oh, wow, I can already afford this. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Definitely want to get extra range bombs first. And then bigger bombs are uh, practically a must, I mean. As you can see, that boomerang monkey is just shredding everything up. Alrighty here. What level are we on? 16? I think this goes up to 50. I don't think there's a free play mode in here yet. Alright, bigger bombs? Nope. And here we go. Bam. Nice big explosions. I think I may might end up getting another one of these tax shoes to go right here. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Tax shooter? Can I no I can't. There we go. Nice. This is getting pretty loud. Alrighty, cool, cool. Because with this game, unlike the other games where you could mainly put a bunch of stuff in the, like in the first, I can't do it on the screen, but in the first part of the area, this game you can't do that as much. You have to spread it out a lot more than before. Like mainly the first like two thirds or something. Over here it's not as important because these things can cover it, but this first two thirds part is vital to your survival basically. All right, good stuff, good stuff. And we can get this guy now. All right. As you can see, good stuff there. I just need to get rid of these yellow balloons. Okay. So we're actually not doing too bad. I can just save up for Sonic Boom on this little guy. And there we go. And then I'm going to put another freeze guy there, and then another attack tower there. My strategy with these first games is any of these kind of curve things, always try to put the freeze towers and attack shooters. And then you should be good from there. Nah, crap. Alright, come on. Bam. Alrighty. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, let's get this. Definitely a worthwhile investment. Investment. I'm also going to be putting a bomb there or something. I have it. Yeah, yeah. Because for each of these frozen guys, you definitely want a bomb. And you want just these guys lined up in the middle. That's that's always at least been my strategy. It's always been working out decently, at least. Alright. Good stuff. And that's one reason why these monkey guys... I mean, you want them, 
but as you get on later rounds, you don't need them as much. Basically, just because if you look at it, I mean, they don't even pop these frozen blooms, so what's the point of even having them? I don't know. Road spikes. Look at that. Nice. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Now I could definitely use some more bombs, so can I sell these? I'm gonna sell this guy and stick him right here. Good, alright, cool. And I'm definitely gonna want to get bigger bombs, put another bomb, I mean another ice tower there. And then we should be on our way to some pretty good stuff. That's the only problem, is those black balloons just destroy you in this game when you do something like this. I mean, look. We've got them this time, but eventually they just start pop- Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna need to put another set down here. And then we're definitely going to want another boomerang. The sonic boom. Alright, good. Looks like we're getting good here. Yeah. It's turned out pretty well. Oh god, what the heck? I thought those guys had him. Darn it. Alright, bomb. Uh, yeah, multi-target. I think I'm gonna save up for another bomb here or something. And then I'm definitely gonna wanna get a super monkey here soon. But no, we're actually doing pretty well. Alright, so let's go get another freeze guy right there, and then two more bombs, and then we'll start getting some more of those boomerang dudes. So what do we call them? Boomerang, yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, level 30, pretty good stuff here, good stuff. Alrighty. We're actually not doing bad at all. This is good. And then let's go try to save up for two more bombs. That's the only problem. With, in this, the lead balloons, they have black balloons in them. So even though it, you only need bomb towers to take them out... Oh god. Yeah. No! Oh, crap. Then you, like, the bomb towers don't take out the black balloons inside. Oh god, this is gonna be a problem. I can just tell. Is it? No, we're, we're fine. There we go. Good bomb, good bomb, good bombs. Good stuff. Just a whole crap ton of explosions. That's what we need. Do we need any more road spikes? Obviously, ideally, you'd never need any road spikes at all, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, we're good. All right. Now it's time to save up for that last bomb over there. And then we want some more boomerang dudes. Alright, come on. Ooh, we got a big storm coming in here. Holy crap. Alright, we're good now. There we go. And I think I'll upgrade this guy one more time, and then I'm going to be leaving off, fast forwarding it a little bit, and then I'm going to be, see, can we afford this? Let's go one more time just to get this. And then I'll just put some music in the background and just go until I either die or until level 50. I think with this setup I have here, I'm going to be able to make it to level 50, but I guess it all just comes to light whenever level 50 comes, or whenever I die. Alright, can I afford another one of these guys? Nice, perfect. So he's gonna do well there. All right, see you, guys. Be right back. Hope you enjoy, and also hope you don't die.
All right, guys. We did it. We're good. We're on level 49, going to level 50. 96 lives, lol. And we got a super monkey and all this kind of cool stuff. Epic range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell all of these guys off. And then right now, I'm going to save up for laser vision. Wait for it. Wait for it. Epic time. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't even stand a chance. Look at that. Frickin' laser vision. Oh, do I need to? Yeah, I do. Oh. Alright, maybe that wasn't such a good idea, but I just wanted to show you guys what laser vision looks like. Um, and there we go, we beat the game. So this one was a little bit easier, and if it were up to me, I would have just kept the regular monkey, and then kept all the boomerang guys, and just added a few more, and I wouldn't have gone for laser vision, because it's pretty good, it's really good actually, but it's not worth getting rid of four of those guys, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So, there we go, hopefully you enjoyed the video, Grant, always knows as Mr. Rectopi, next time, Bloom Star Defense 3, as you can tell, and we're coming to if you feel like it, have a great day, signing out.